Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Masticating Slow Juicer. The first thing I wanna point out is how light this box is. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you all the different pieces and some of its different features. All right, this is everything that this comes with and I have to say I'm really excited about how small this is. I just feel like juicing, it can take up so much of your kitchen and the fact that this is so nice and small, I'm just really excited about that. Um, another great thing is that this can, you can run all of these separate pieces through the dishwasher, which is great, but they are also really easy to clean um, if you just do it right after you use them as well. So I just wanna show you some of the different pieces here. Um, this connects right here and it does click into place, which is a nice safety feature, for, especially if you have kids around, you know this, you can't just pull this and have it come apart. So basically everything that this comes with is the actual juicer itself. It comes with both the juice, container right here as well as the pulp collector um, so all of your juice you juice is going to go into this little cup here and all of the extra pulp and dried out pieces they were going to go right in here and you can use that for your compost your garden whatever you use that for um, it also does come with a little to-go cup which is actually really nice it's just this little cup right here with a little sports drink lid and it does come with a little cleaning brush which always comes in handy to get those hard to reach places so the nice thing about this design is that you can feed in some of your larger fruits and vegetables this way, for example, celery sticks. It just makes sense to put them straight in this way and you can go ahead and push them down with this damper here. Um, but if you have smaller things that you're juicing like lettuce or spinach or something like that, you can stuff those in right here as you are pushing them down. So it just makes the process go a little bit faster um, depending on what you're using. So I do wanna take this apart and show you some of the different perks of this actual juicer. So this one does have a seven segment juicer here, which is just going to help extract more of that juice. This is a cold press juicer versus a centrifugal juicer. The good thing about cold press juicers is that they don't oxidize as much when you're juicing them or during the juicing process, which is really great because that means that you can actually put your juice in the refrigerator and it will last at peak freshness for about three days, which is what I like to do. This is the little filter that fits down in the bottom. So I'll just fit this all together again. Something that I do like about this, and I know this is a really small detail, but it has this little lever here so that when you are juicing, you can shut this lever if you need to remove your little juicing cup. For example, if you're juicing down here and this juice cup gets full and you need to empty it out into your sports drink cup, you can shut this little valve right here so that no juice comes out for a minute. You can dump your juice container over here, set it back down, and then open up your little juice valve right here. So I do like that little piece. Now that we know what everything is and kind of how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this up and then we're gonna juice some celery. I got everything washed up and ready to go. I have some celery that I washed up and so I think we are set to go. Let me just go ahead and turn this on on and off button is right here as well as a reverse function which is nice just in case anything ever were to get stuck in the auger you can just push reverse and it'll push it right back out so i'm going to open this little slot just because i do want it to go right down into this juice container okay let's get started oh nice that's actually pretty quiet All right, so this is where I'm going to shut the juice valve just because I'm done juicing and I don't want it to continue to drip when I take this off. So you can see I have this celery juice. It looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. Okay, yum, that's really good. And I did not get a lot of pulp in that sip or anything like that, so that's a huge plus for me. This is the pulp that came out. Something that I like to do with pulp that is a little bit more wet. You can see about the consistency of this. It does, if I were to squeeze it, I bet I could get some juice out of it. 
But something you can do with this is you can actually put it through the juicer another time just to get any of that last little bits of juice out. I love that this has a very small footprint and I feel like it does the job. I also really like that the engine is not very loud. Overall, I'm impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this juicer out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.